talk us through some of the kind of policy highlights with regards to family policy over the past year of the coalition government? Sure. So, obviously, lots going on, um, reflecting the big changes in government, also the macroeconomy. Um, a couple of the big things, the uh, realisation that just measuring income alone in, in child poverty is probably not enough. So trying to say, actually, we need to start measuring wider measures. Uh, I think the, the consultation kind of showed, and the response to that showed, the uh, desire of the government to go beyond income measures, which is a really positive step. Um, lots of other things, obviously, we kind of see a, a, a good rebalancing of the expenditure towards families, away from the higher income families and, and further towards the, the lower income families. So things like limiting child benefit, uh, reducing tax credits for those with higher incomes, often seen in the press as quite a bad thing, but really it's just a, a refocusing of, of money towards those most in need. And the same kind of thing you see with the people premium, which obviously Policy Exchange uh, recommended uh, a couple of years ago. Um, so that's, that's been, been put, put, put into, into place now. It's obviously a very positive step. Okay. And do you think there's been any missed opportunities over the past year? Um, obviously there's a, there's a real difficulty with the child poverty debates that we have moved away from a bit away from the income measure, but that, that still remains right at the core. And our argument is that actually, while, while you have that income measure there, that's all that everyone will actually focus on, and that leads to bad policy making. What you actually need to start to consider is, is uh, actually just, just focusing on those elements which are about the, um, the real causes of poverty, so looking at, looking at work, looking at trying to intervene early on to make sure that people, uh, families are in work and that their children have the aspirations to go into work and looking at things like the gap between education between low income and, and high income families. And that's the sort of thing we should be measuring, not just income alone. Um, and looking forward then to the next year, is there anything that the government could be doing to um, ease the pain of families with regard to the cost of living and just generally make the UK more of a family friendly society? Um, I mean, obviously there's, there's quite a few things coming in over the, over the next couple of years anyway. Um, I think it's a case of waiting to see how that, how that goes. I don't think uh, we need to panic at the moment and, and start throwing money into the economy and, and, and at families. I think everyone recognises at the moment it's a tough time and everyone's sharing in that pain. So it's a case of just trying to stimulate growth in the economy, making sure that uh, we're on course to maintain and increase growth. And I think that will suit, suit families as, as well as everyone else.